It is Marketplace Law Time, and today we are talking about Section 504. Have you heard of it? What exactly is Section 504? It's a federal statute that prohibits discrimination based on disability. Attorney Brian Garvine is here. He's going to give us more information on how Section 504 relates to schools. Good to have you. Thank you. Nice Thanks to for see having you. me. Sure. You too. You, too. Um, you know, for some people, I guess you're blessed enough that you probably don't have to know about this. But for those who do have children with disabilities, what is Section 504? Well, section, it's, it's a federal law. It's part of the Rehabilitation Act. And it essentially requires that school provide the same opportunities and the same experience to all kids, regardless of disability or whether it's a physical disability, mental disability, and so forth. It, it seems it, so basic. Why wouldn't they be doing that anyway? Well, <laughs> it's, and I think a lot of schools do, yeah. but, but some schools don't. And I think, you know, these days more and more kids are struggling, particularly with um, more mental and emotional disabilities than probably in past times. Now does this allow for integration in a classroom with this bill or do they are they still able to provide separate type of classrooms? How does that work? Well it's both. It, okay. it depends on the it depends on the children the child it depends on whether it's a physical disability, a mental disability, okay. emotional disability. It can be separate or it can be together but it essentially has to be it has to provide the same experience in terms of uh, education right. in terms of extracurricular activities. Right. So what if a parent experience. doesn't feel like their child's needs are being met? Is there is then a, a law that will apply to this that can help them with their rights? Well and it's 504 and, and 504 specifically addresses that issue. Um, there's, a, there's a section of 504 that says any school district that has more than 14 employees which is almost every yes. district has more yes. than 14 employees has, a, has a, an appeal or due process procedure that parents can take advantage of if they feel like their child is not being appropriately dealt with or treated at school. So what would some of the issues be that we wouldn't be aware of? In terms of... If, if you're a parent, I mean, what are some of the issues that seem to arise? Well, and I think it's, it, it's really on a case-by-case -case scenario depending upon um, each child, and, and I think you just need to, to to connect with your child and talk with your child and make sure they're fully integrated in the school experience and if there if there are activities that they're not able to do or if they're being treated differently than other students in school that yeah. is probably something that you should follow up on and and you know go through those avenues and so forth. And what are those avenues? What's, what are the procedures that take place after that? Well I think you, you would contact the teacher, contact okay. the school administration and let them know that hey my you know my child has these issues which nine times out of ten they already know that. Right. And you know. But if there's harassment involved or neglect or whatever. Right. You need to bring it to the school's attention and schools can be liable if they and, the, and there are situations where um, you know the, bar, the the bar is high to, right, to, to, right. to hold schools liable but it can be done and, and if schools are turning a blind eye to these issues and essentially ignoring them then right. you know they, they can be held responsible but by and large most schools are, are responsive. That's good to know but at least there is an outlet in the event they're not. Right. So thank there, you Brian so much for being in today. No in fact if you want more information or you need to find a lawyer then go to cbalaw.org. That's the lawyer referral service too. And you can find out more about this and many other topics. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it.